Hello? Emily, it's um, Marjorie. Is Brock there? Yeah, he is. Marjorie, hold on. It's Marjorie. She sounds worried. Marjorie? Thank God you're there. What's wrong? Uh, hey, Pop, this isn't going to be a fancy dinner or anything, is it? No, it's not going to be a fancy dinner. Okay. It's, I see, but you, you know, you could find a shirt, a clean shirt that wasn't all... What do you do with this stuff? All right. <laughs> Seems like just the other day, the two of you guys, you and Andy, were living in here together. Now you're here in peace. Yeah, I miss having Andy around here myself. I'm really sorry that he couldn't have joined us this evening. So uh, we'll have a good time anyway, right, Pop? Yeah, I guess so. Good. Say, you know, just after we accepted the invitation, Lucinda invited us to dinner as well. Us. Yeah, us, us, us. What, she invited me too? Yes, she invited you. Come on, she's trying. She wants to be your pal. Is that right? Yeah. I guess she's not too pleased at uh, us going over to Susan's, huh? <laughs> I guess not. You know, Pop, maybe I'm butting in here. And you know why you can tell me to take a hike? Seems to me like you're still hung up on Lucy. Oh, go ahead! Do it! Do it! I do it! A vulture like you, the go ahead. faction. <sighs> Oh, holding on to somebody who doesn't even want you anymore. Oh, and wait till John hears about this. He's going to yeah. divorce you in no time oh, flat. Yeah, He'll leave yeah, you yeah. like oh. everybody else. Brought to you today by Ivory. No deodorants, no perfumes. That's a clean as real as Ivory. Marjorie, calm down. Tell me where you are. A payphone at the mall. I didn't want to use the phone at the house. I think it's tapped. Okay, fine. Now, why do you think you're being followed? I know I'm being followed, Brock. Even Denise mentioned seeing the same man in different stores watching us. Where are the kids now? They're fine. They're fine. I can see them from here. All we were doing was some Christmas shopping. That's it. Just shopping. I know. I know. Look, listen carefully. Everything is in place. You're going to be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow? I, I, I can't do that, Brock. I need more time. I have to pack. I have to sort through things. You can't. You have to leave all that behind. Now, I know it's hard. Listen, I'll pick up a few essentials for you. I've got some new luggage with different initials on it. Now, tomorrow, I want you to leave the house with the kids like you're going to go on a normal errand. You're going to go to the airport. You're going to fly to Oakdale. After that, the next stop is... A new life. I don't think it's going to work, Brock. It will work if you start believing in it. Okay. I will, okay? Good girl. Come on, stay strong. It's only one more day. Now, look, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't let the kids out of your sight, okay? Bye. A whole new life with new identities. Has to be. How long do they have to stay in hiding? As long as Papa's alive. What about us? I'm afraid it's the same for us. But we get to start a whole new life together. With brand new identities. Brock, I, I know you said that your family was involved in some illegal activities, but the more I hear, it sounds like they're part of the... Don't. Say it. Don't ever put it into words. Oh, thanks again, Frank. It's nice to hear from you again. And uh, give Esther my love, all right? <laughs> Goodbye. Something is going on. 
It's clear. Marjorie's parents have not heard from her. What's she been doing these last few days? Uh, normal stuff. She picked up Greg at the prep school yesterday, did some grocery shopping. She and the kids picked up a Christmas tree last night. Today she didn't leave the house until this afternoon to do a little more shopping at the mall with the kids. Still, something is going on. You know, I've been wondering, when are you going to let them know that you've learned about the divorce, Philip? I haven't decided yet. What's the report from the men who are following Snyder and Stewart? Ellie Snyder's still out of town. Emily Stewart seems to be dividing her time between work and visiting her mother at the hospital. And, of course, she's still seeing quite a bit of Brock. Well, I hope she enjoys it while she can. Listen, you stay here. Keep track of the men in the field. I've got to take care of something right away. I still can't get over what, Lucy invited me to dinner? Well, hey, come on, Pop. Have some. Come on, she's going to be cooking dinner for us and everything now. Yeah, I know. It's just a snack, you know. I'll tell you, I'm sure glad we're going over to Susan's. I don't think I'm ready to share a meal with old Lucy yet. No? Not that I mind seeing her maid again. Eunice? Ah, hmm. Eunice. Hey, you were hmm. saying you were having some female problems with me the other day. Then you became exasperated and dropped the whole subject. Walked out. Oh, I wasn't exasperated. I just... How should I put it? Of course, I'm not really sure I should put it. Wait a minute. That didn't come out right, did it? I have the faintest <laughs> idea what you're talking about. It's my problem. With Leanne? How did you ever guess? What about her? I... I really like her. Yeah? Yeah, I do, except I'm not used to dating a nice girl like her. I mean, I'm not used to dating a girl who doesn't... I'll get the picture. Let me tell you something. If she were ready, and I gather that she's not, and you did, Tom would come after you with a meat axe. Oh, come on, Bob. You keep your hormones in control, or all hell is going to break loose here. Yeah, well, it's easier said than done. Like, like, like the other day, the other morning, when Leanne was here, I had her. She's like on my bed, you know, and I... Well, you don't so let hard. yourself get in situations like that. When I was in college, I went to college, you know, we had a rule. If you had a girl mm. in your room, you open the door, you keep your feet on the floor. <laughs> Big help. Big help. I'm going to get that. Uh, hello. Hi. Sure. Oh, hello, John. Hello. How are you uh, Duke, I wanted to tell you that Franny is going to stay with Chris tonight, and Sean's going to come over. And Kim has told me that you like to occasionally raid the icebox. Well, not all the time. But... You feel free. Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's full of carrots, cottage cheese, and a lot of healthy stuff like that. If you won't tell Dan, I'll tell you there's some ice cream in there, too. Yeah. Also, there's something else I wanted to tell you. We'd like to get the Christmas tree up and decorated before Bob and Kim get back. And we'll need your help. Sure, sure. I'd love to help. I haven't decorated a Christmas tree in a long time. We're good. Sweetheart, we got a lot of shopping to do. All right. Thanks, dear. Take care, okay. Bye, See you later. Bye. Bye-bye, John. See you later, Dan. I'm really looking forward to Christmas around here. Because so I'm not sure I should get everyone. Hey, what do you think I should get, Mrs. Hugh? You're thinking about Lucy again now, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm thinking about Christmas at the executive club. What do you think they're going to have for dinner there? Yeah, right. Mm. Look, why don't you call Susan, take her rain check, and go see Lucy? What would you do? I'll go myself. I'll be fine. Come on, so how about it? Give Susan a call, go see Lucy. I'm sure Lucy has already made plans for the evening. Besides, she's got that soldier of fortune living in the pool house apartment. Hey, I'm supposed to be my place. Well, ah, you I'm don't... just kidding. I'm happy with the way things worked out. Look, I don't want to stand Susan up. Pop, she's the most understanding woman in the world. Come on, call her. Okay, maybe I will. Margot Hughes is now being played by Ellen Dolan. Nice, nice. Come on, Margot. 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 Come on, Margot.
Tommy, you're back from the Hi. capital. Hi. Honey, I have missed you so. Miss yeah, you. me too. Got to carry all the heavy bags. Oh. Yeah, see, I thought the deal was that she buys all the gifts while I'm away. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah. but you take it. Oh, you got it. Stop it, Mom. Don't look at your present might be in there. Oh, come on. I don't need a present. All I need is to have my family around me. Oh, well, then let's take the gifts back. There don't you, you dare. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. Between oh, yeah. the two of us, we wiped out most of Oakdale. Oh, oh. So, you guys ready for the 25th? Well, yes, actually. I'm looking forward to spending our first Christmas together. Well, well there are 12 days to Christmas, you know. I'm sensing a partridge in a pear tree in my future. <laughs> hey. Well, maybe I'll try and do something about a leaping lord. Oh, 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 oh help me. <laughs> Hold out for the five gold rings. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing that simple, but listen, you can all find out we're having an open house the Friday before New Year's, and you're all invited. Whoa, oh, Tom, please. free food. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> you better bring your walking shoes, because it's three flights up, and they have no elevator. Oh. <laughs> I'll carry you like those. <laughs> listen, you two. Oh, you know your way around here, so just pick yourselves out a table, all right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're you're beautiful. Well, thank you. You do yourself. Yeah. Have um, a good dinner. Wait, wait, wait. I want to talk to you for one second, right. okay? I'll be right back. No. Okay. Mm. I have been wondering uh -huh. if um, you need any help at fashions for the yeah, holidays. And that's music to my ears, Good. darling. We are just crammed and jammed with people. And I bet you need a little extra spending money, is that it? Yes, I want to get it for something special to do. Oh, well, that's, that's nice. Where is that cute guy, anyway? Usually you're inseparable. Oh, um, well, I, I saw him last this morning. You did? Mm -hmm. Something happened? No. No. I, sometimes I just get the feeling that he wants someone different. <laughs> what? Oh, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard of. Darling, he is crazy wild about you, and you are just the perfect woman for him. You really are. Julie, I haven't had a chance to ask, how did it go with Veronica Leathers? I got the job. Oh, that's wonderful. I knew you'd get it. I mean, honestly, they'd be silly not to hire you. You look so fantastic in leather and that gorgeous hair and everything. Don't you dare think about leaving here, though. You'll break my heart if you do. <laughs> and I'm sure the customers, oh, they just adore you. Are these all your packages? Yeah, why don't you ask my wife? No, no. Actually, Mama, we bought some things for you to give Casey and Kate, because I know you don't have any time to do shopping here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I wish I could have gotten out, but I spent the whole day getting the house ready. and I've changed the downstairs den into a bedroom for us, you know, because Casey won't be able to manage the stairs. Why didn't you let me help with that? Oh, it's okay. Marilyn helped me. Everything's fine. Okay, listen, don't get a Christmas tree. I promise I will pick one up and have it in the house before Casey arrives, okay? Oh, goody, thank you. Thank you, Marco. Come on. Well, if we're going to Massachusetts and getting Casey. Oh, stop it. I'm looking forward to the trip. Good. Well, I better get changed. <laughs> Too late. It'll be a huge adjustment for your mom and Casey. That's for sure. Hey, I'm going to be working part-time at fashion. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Very good. Now, Julie Wendell, you've got to tell me, why aren't you jumping up and down for joy? Because you've got this wonderful job. I just can't believe how complicated my life has gotten all of a sudden. Well, life has a way of doing that, but you have to be very careful not to let these complications keep you from being honest with Andy. See, that's just it. I can't be totally honest with him because he won't let me. your lights on, so I thought I might stop by. Come on in. Julie's at work, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, then why can't you have dinner with Duke and me tonight, huh? Susan said you had plans with Julie. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Later. Say, listen, pal, you trying to avoid me? I'm not saying that. You deny it? Oh, Dad, look. You know, you are a real bummer to be around when you're making your feelings so clear. You say it to me. Keep the lines of communication open, but you, you, you have blinders on when it comes to Julie. I see. Is that why you didn't invite me to your open house? I don't want her feeling uncomfortable at her own party. I try, you. Believe you me, I'm trying. Did you know you that know, I got an I... A on, uh, on a photography assignment because of her? Because of Julie. Andrew, I honestly believe you would have gotten an A without Julie. But that's good news. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. That's Thanks. great. Thanks. Hey, what's going on with you and Duke? 
Nothing. Why? Seems to be a lot of hostility there. Blind man could see it. Look, look, Dad. Uh, Duke used her. He slept with Julie, and he cared nothing about anybody else but himself. Wait, wait a minute, Andrew. Who used who here? She was trying to trap See, that's you exactly what I mean. You're not even giving her a chance. I try, Andrew. Believe you me, I try. The last thing in the world I want is for you and I to grow further apart on this thing. So come on, what do you say? How about you have dinner with Duke and Susan and me tonight? Susan? Oh, come on. Well, what happened with Lucinda? Did you have dinner with her? Oh, it's all mixed up. Can I use your phone? Can I use your... Sure, you do. Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh. Uh, hello, darling. Is something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. It's just I, uh, listen, I have uh, some time before I'm due over at Susan's, and uh, I thought I might stop by there and have a drink. Sure. Splendid. You want to bring the boys? Well, Andy's got uh, other plans for this evening, and Duke is meeting me over at Susan's. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, dear, when you see Susan, if she should, if she should, um, oh, never mind. I'll tell you when you get here. Tell me what? What are you talking about? Forget it, darling. I'll tell you when you get here. I'll have Rosa get to work on those crab meat things that you love so much at this time of the year. It's almost Christmas. If you're here, it'll be Christmas. <laughs> okay, look, all I have to do is uh, change my clothes and I'll be right over. Okay, darling. It's so lonely around this house without you. I'm afraid most of tomorrow morning is going to be taken up with plans for Marjorie and the children. You know, it's going to be a long time before you see Denise and Greg. How can you stand that, Brock? Well, I just keep reminding myself that it's their only chance at a decent life. It's Greg's only shot at not being in my position 20 years from now. Well, it's very unselfish of you. Is it unselfish to want the best for your kids? I don't know. I'm afraid I've been very selfish with you, asking you to leave everything and start a new life with me. Well, I'll do it gladly if I can be with you. <laughs> I have to tell you, there's one other possibility. What's that? I could go to the authorities. Negotiate to be put in a witness protection program and send my father to prison for the rest of his life. I just don't think I could live with myself if I didn't. I understand that. And whatever you decide, Brock, I'll stand by your side. I, I promise. Even if it means a new identity, leaving Oakdale? Listen, leaving behind the Emily Stewart of the past won't be such a loss. Would for me. You'll be leaving your mother, too, you know. Yeah, that's going to be hard. But you're my priority now. I want a life with you, and that's that. That's that. So, when are we going to go pick up your things over at your mother's? Well, uh, listen, she's going to have Duke and John for dinner. Maybe we can swing by there before they get there. All right. I'll tell you, I'd really like to see everything worked out for her before I do go. Well, she's not answering. That's strange. Well, they probably went out to dinner. No, she said she was going to cook and trim the tree. Well, then she's in the shower. But we'll just drop by there yeah, if that'll make yeah. you feel better, Let's okay? Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. I did exactly as you said. Good. I waited overnight in Montega. Uh, and Craig tells me he has no intentions of returning to Oaktail any time in the near future. What's the matter with these wretched kids, anyway? Why? Why are they so attracted to that awful country? You know, your daughter is very loyal to that country. You might admire that. <sighs> yeah. At least I know where she is. Now the other one. <laughs> you know, it's strange you haven't had more contact with Lily. That doesn't sound like the sensitive lady that I met. You know what's strange? Why would a man with a, uh, a foreign accent call for Lily? And why would he call Iva? If he called me, I might consider it was ransom. And if he called me... I wouldn't have let him get off the phone without giving me some information. What kind of accent did he have? Who knows? Iva's got a tin ear. 
Well, I don't know why, Bo, but I know that Lily has your spirit and she's got your talent of survival. Does she have my taste in pilots? That's something that I've been dying to ask you. Well, she doesn't have quite your taste. Ah. Well. Well, uh, do you have somebody coming? No, 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 I don't. Just my husband. Oh, uh, well, then I'll make myself scarce. You don't have Listen, to. Listen, I'd wish you luck, but I don't think you're going to need it. Well, I'll have Rosa send you something spicy and nice. Oh, skip it. I'm going to check out the nightlife in this bird. <laughs> Bye-bye. Have fun. He's doing Oakdale after dark. Lucky guy. Well, John, you got a gun in your pocket? How long are you going to stay? Take your coat off. What time do you have to get to Susan? You know, that's the funniest thing. I tried to call her and cancel, but I got no answer. Well, you must try, try again. But first, oh. how about a drink, huh? Give me that coat. Okay. Ma! Well, I guess she's not here. I don't understand. Did you look up there? There's what? mistletoe up there. There's a ceiling up there, Mark. Right? Mistletoe up there. Mmm. <laughs> something, Yeah, I think it's not. Mom! Mom! God! Mom! We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns. Just a moment. Oh, part two of As the World Turns. Mom. Mommy? I'm going to call an ambulance. Wait, Brock, wait. Mom. Mommy, are you okay? Uh, Mom, what happened? Help me up. No, 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 why don't you stay here? I'm going to call 911. Okay? No, 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 not necessary. Don't do that. Just help me up. Wait, okay. wait, Brock, let me get to the other side. Oh. Slowly, very, very slowly, okay. okay? Okay. Come on. Oh. Oh, come. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. You help me to the, the couch, okay? Oh, 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 God. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Why don't we just why don't we just sit here a bit, oh, all right? Oh, oh you want to lie back down? No, no, just get me to the get me to the couch, okay? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. okay. Give me all your weight. Wait, you I just I think I Come on. I pull the muscle. Okay. Oh, the, the dinner. Okay, okay, I'll take oh. care. I'll take care of that. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm really, I'm really glad you came by. So am I. You were out cold. Oh, no, I mean, just for a few minutes. No, Mom, I called about ten minutes ago. You didn't answer. Okay, kitchen's fine. Okay, listen, let us take you to the hospital. No, no, no. Mom, please, you might have a concussion. No, really. She's right. No. Now, listen, if you don't want us to take you to the hospital, I'm going to carry you out to the car, and we'll take you over there ourselves. You know, you're right. He's very sweet, but really, no, thank you. I'm, listen, I, 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 the pain is much less now. you got to see a doctor, Mom. Why don't I just... All right, you don't want to go to the hospital, I'll call Jeff. No! No, Okay. I have to cancel that dinner with him and Duke. His his number is on the the the, the desk in that book, okay? Yes. Um, Duke's number too. I guess this is why doctors have a terrible reputation as patients. Huh? Don't you think it would be a good idea if we went to the hospital? Uh, I, I'll be okay. No, there's no answer here. Do you want me to try Duke? Uh, uh, yeah. It, it, Here you go, honey. Here. Oh, God. <sighs> uh, hello? Duke, it's Susan. I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cancel our dinner. Uh, no problem. As a matter of fact, it all kind of works out. Uh, Pop wanted to postpone dinner anyway. 
he was thinking maybe he should spend some time with Lucinda. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think he's on his way over there now to have drinks with her. Oh, he's there now? Uh, he should be. So you want me to tell him that dinner's off? Yes, would you? I'd appreciate that. Sure, no problem. And we're going to reschedule again, okay? Sure. So anyway, Andy actually thinks that this girl is responsible for getting him an A in his course. It's as if she were a muse or something like that. Oh, well, darling. Maybe she is a muse. Anyway, this muse is going to stumble into a modeling career in L.A. or New York. Yeah. I wouldn't count on it. I think that her career has already been launched and it's going to keep her right here in Oakdale. Launched how? I hear from Andy that uh, Tonio made us some kind of a hot shot deal offer or something like that. The philanthropist? Yeah. What is in it for him? What do you As think? No. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you ought to be glad, darling. You wanted Andy's eyes open. I want them open, but I don't want them blasted out of his head for crying out loud. Mm. Darling, <clears throat> maybe you should make that phone call to Susan again. Yeah, maybe I should. Dear, before you do, I just, um... I want to tell you something. I, um, I called on Susan earlier. What'd you do that for? Well, let me tell you. What happened? Um, we just had some words, a little misunderstanding, and then I left, and that's all there was to it. when you'd love a home-cooked meal, but can't stay home to cook it. Lipton introduces family favorites. A delicious new way to turn fresh beef into hearty beef stew. Right in your microwave. Lipton family favorites. Home cooking for people who can't stay home cooking. Isn't it kind of a weird idea? No, it absorbs odors, doesn't it? Oh, oh, I think it makes perfect sense. New Stay Free. Now with odor-absorbing baking soda inside every pad. It's protection like nothing else. Your little girl is growing up. Her needs are changing every day. From clothes... Mom! ...to medicine. She's just the right age for Junior Strength Tylenol. Too easy to swallow caplets to the work of four chewables. When they outgrow chewables, Junior Strength Tylenol. Mom. Well, it looks like the bath didn't help much, Mom. You're still in pain. You? No, I'm not. Really, the bath and the aspirin helped a lot. I feel very much better. Listen, honey, why don't we take you to the emergency room? It'd be so easy. <sighs> because it's not an emergency. Would you stop fretting, okay? I'm better. I heated you up an incredible batch of soup. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you put it down? Thanks. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> uh, chicken and rice. Thanks. Of course... I'll be glad to go by the pampered palate if you think my cooking no, skills are in question. That's enough. Or the drugstore. No, it's fine. I'm fine, really. I'm fine. Okay. <clears throat> Listen, would you two stop this? Stop worrying about me, really. I'm, I'm just fine. I don't need babysitting. Please get out of here. I'm not going anywhere, Mom. I'm just going to go to bed, darling. Really. Fine. Go to bed. I don't care. I'll stay. I'll let you two work this out. Tea for anyone? I'll have some. I'm impressed with him. Huh? I'm seeing a side him I didn't think was there. Oh. All right, tell me what really happened. What, what's this accident all about? Well, it wasn't really an accident. What oh. are you talking about? Uh, I had a little visit from Lucinda, and uh, she... Oh, well... We exchanged a few words, and she got physical, and... and Lucinda did this. I got physical. Well, we got into it, you know, the slapping and stomping. Oh, it must have been attractive. Oh, oh. Oh. But then she stomped out of here, and she gave me this shove, and all I remember is I, I grabbed the, the ladder, and everything fell down. Look, and I'm going to call the police, Mom. This is assault. No, don't. And after I call the police, I am going to call John and tell no, him. No, no, don't. Don't Why? bother. This is the last straw between John and Lucinda. No, honey. I'm telling you, no. Are you being a martyr? Emily, would you listen to me? Do you know what Duke told? Oh, 
You know what he told me? While I was here, I was cooking dinner, and I was thinking about what, what a wonderful evening this was going to be. John was trying to figure out a way to cancel so he could be with Lucinda. It's because he doesn't know what she's capable of. Yes, he does. She's just got her claws into him so deeply, he's never going to get free. I just have to realize that once and for all, and I don't want him here feeling sorry for me when he's still hung up on his wife. So what exactly did you say? I don't know what I said, the words. You know, we just aired our differences. I don't like you going over yeah, there. Yeah, like you're that. making that very clear, dear. I hope so. Uh huh. Got a call, I'm gonna oh, be late. Yeah, what time is it? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Pop. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Lucy. Uh, told Matt that I could show myself, and I, uh, I remembered. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, Susan, she had to cancel out. She wanted me to let you know. Why? What for? I don't know. She didn't say. How wonderful. Now we three can have dinner together. Yay! Uh, <laughs> thanks, actually. Um, I got plans, and, you know, uh, two's company, three's a crowd, right? What plans? Well, <laughs> Leanne, you know, she's having dinner with her folks in the Mona Lisa, and I kind of mm. wanted to see her there, so... I'm hey, Dolly, look out! Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> It was an antique, right? Hey, well, oh, well, well. Where, where do I go to replace this? No, 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 no. I mean, you, you, you go to Munich. You go to Mittenwald. No, forget it, darling. I break things. I break things all the time around here. <laughs> uh, uh, please, darling, stay to dinner. Actually, uh, I can't. I gotta go. What about you? Yes. Yeah, stay. Okay. Then I'll hurry up Rosa with the, <laughs> the crab meat things. Hey, 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 what's the matter with Susan? Uh, I don't know. She, she seemed like she was all right. Kind of tired, maybe. Look, why didn't you stay? Come on, she invited you now. Yeah, yeah, because of you. No. But I, I know she doesn't mean it. She does. She wants to be your friend, your pal. What do you say? Yeah, she wants to be my pal. Well, she didn't sound too sincere about it. Look, look, already I'm in the middle of things, and I've messed things up enough. It's going to be your decision about Lucy, you know? So, uh, see you tomorrow, Papa. Bye, dear. I want to make you happy. I mean, no. I, I wanted him to stay. I really, did I sound sincere enough? You sounded Should wonderful. I take lessons? No, no, I, you sounded okay? wonderful. Thank you. Was Andy home when I called you earlier? Yes, and I wish you wouldn't call there. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I want to see you when you're done with work tonight. Tony, I told you that our relationship's got to be on hold until after the holidays. I just can't hurt him like that before Christmas. Well, I'm afraid I can't put my feelings on hold. Excuse me. I have to make a phone call. Hi. Hi. I started decorating, but then I thought uh, it'd be much more fun to do it with you later. Oh, yeah, sure. Listen, I can't really talk right now. Um, I have to go down to the cellar. All right, I'll go with you. No, well, no, wait, just, just take a minute. I'll be right back. Just stay here. Hello, darling. Hi, How are you? Oh, nice to see you. Oh, hi, Mike. Hi. Hey, listen, I hope you... Don't, don't forget now, you're both coming to our open house that Julia and I are having on Friday, right? Hey, we'll be there. Oh, indeed yes. we will, but we need your help in between now and then. You do? Get a Christmas tree put up before Bob and, and uh, Kim come back from New York. Duke has offered to help, but we need your artistic input, too. So tell me, how are things out at the Earl Mitchell Center? Well, really great. Uh, except it's still a little bit sad about Lois having to give away her baby. You know, yeah. Hey You actually leaves the island to go visit her at the hospital. Oh, that's great. He's just stayed to himself too much. Yeah, he yeah, has. You know, I'm hoping that maybe Franny can bring him out. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Have you ever thought about it? If you could get her to stay wow. and, and put her on staff there. That would be great, if only she would. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, uh, Andy. Hi. Hi, Leanne. I want to talk to you. Sure, come on. <clears throat> I'm going to invite you to your open house. You're welcome. The Duke and I are barely on speaking terms, so... I hate... That big fight you guys had. He had it coming, Leah. Uh, 
He only told Franny that you were drinking because he was oh, worried Greg, about Greg, you. That's he told all. You, he's been trying to make trouble for me and Julie. But you can tell him it's not going to work. Andy, because we're tighter please. than ever, all right? Okay, if you just listen. Just tell him that. Hi. Hey, babe. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, Andy. Yeah, I guess he's still pretty teed off, huh? Yeah. Come on. I try to talk to him. Hello. Welcome to the Mona Lisa. Can I get you a table? <laughs> no, but you can lead me to the bar. Okay, right this way. So you need Oakdale? Yeah, you might say I got transferred here. I'm a pilot. Oh, yeah? That's great. Well, I hope you like Oakdale. Changed my life. Oh. My name's Julie. My name's Sawyer. Glad to meet you, Julie. Nice to meet you, Sawyer. Yeah. Pilots who flew Lucinda into Montego. Maybe what's to you? Well, if you are, I probably hired you. I'm Tony Reyes. I provided the financial backing for the Patriots in Montego. I have heard a lot about you. Sawyer. McKechnie? I, I haven't seen you since you brought me and Lily Walsh back from Montego. Well, well, I guess we both have lost a little of our jungle grime, eh? Yeah. What are you doing in Oakdale? I just signed on as a pilot with Walsh Enterprises. Was that so? Yeah. Somehow I pictured you more as a soldier of fortune than you a corporate man. You might say man. that, uh, but uh, this job's kind of fun for the moment. I, well, I did a good deal of wandering myself until I met the right woman. Will you have a drink with me and my wife? Sure, look. Come on over. Oh, Tom and Margo, here's someone you should meet. Uh, Sawyer, Tom and Margo Hughes. Uh, hello, I'm Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you just flew my brother. Thank you, my father. Come over and meet Shannon. Bye-bye. Oh, aren't you coming to Boston with me? Well, maybe it's all for the best. Well, I mean, you and Casey share a special rapport. Maybe he'll be able to open up and tell you how he's feeling. It's certainly not easy coming home in a wheelchair. Margo, I asked Duke to join us. Is that okay? Sure. Hey, thanks. I'm flying right in here. Oh, just pull up that chair. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Yeah, help yourself. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me our very own songbird, Lila Peretti. Woo! yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. If you From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Here we are, there's no Listen, uh, I'm going to go hit the books, but I'm not going to start decorating until you get there. So I think we should. I think we should cheer on our first Christmas, right? Okay. I may be a little late.
Hi, it's Brock. Is everything all right? There's no change in our holiday plans, is there? No, not at all. I just want to make sure that you have everything clear about tomorrow. You sounded a little preoccupied earlier. Yeah, um, everything's fine. I told the kids that we were going to do some more shopping tomorrow. That's good. Well, get a good night's sleep. Kiss the kids for me. I will. I can't take anything with me. <gasps> Philip, you scared... What are you doing here at this hour? Oh, a little surprise. Thought I'd drive you and my grandchildren over to Lake Forest tonight. I didn't expect you to let me off so early tonight. Well, just accept this as my early Christmas present. And to Andy. Now, scoot. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you at home. Mm. It was very nice, you know. It was fun having you to dinner. I'd like to have you for Christmas. You know what, darling? I've had a thought. No, wait, let's get very serious. We've tried uh, everything. We've done everything. We've tried it. We've tried the trial separation. Why don't we try a trial reconciliation? Uh, oh, there's come no on, such it'll be thing. Fun. Yes. At Christmas time, wouldn't it be nice? Christmas trees, we could have a Christmas goose. I'll even apologize to Susan. That sounds good to me. And I'll do it. To a Merry Christmas. To a Merry Christmas. <laughs> it all kind of works out. My pop wanted to postpone anyway. He thought maybe he ought to have dinner with Lucinda. He's having drinks with her now. tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of these CBS stations. Furs by Christie Brothers. Join us tomorrow, for as the world turns, This is CBS.